So this off-grid system isn't quite finished yet, but it's very close. This is on a brand new New Horizons. It's a 48 volt system, which is what we specialize in. We do 12 volt systems, but not very many of them. Uh, mostly we do large systems. And so when you get into a large system, 48 volts is much superior to 12. Uh, when I say large system, this is dual 5K inverters, Victrons. Uh, you can see them here. And 25 kilowatt hours of battery. In this case, these are Epoch server rack batteries, 48 volt, of course. Um, and there's five of them, five kilowatt hours each. So 25 kilowatt hours total. There's room up here for two more. So we could go up to 35 kilowatt hours in one stack. Of course, you could spread them out too, but they take up space. So you have to balance how much solar you have to recharge them with how much space you want to utilize with what your uh, power requirements are. So all of our implementations have a forward shore power plug right here. We use smart plugs exclusively. There is very superior plug technology. Um, so you have your rear and your front, and we always put bypasses in, so you can bypass the entire system. So the way we do that is with the smart plugs. This plug is coming from the inverter, plugs in here, goes up to the progressive, and then out to the load centers on the RV. So to bypass the entire inverter complex, in case you have a failure of a component or something goes wrong and you've dropped power. Um, if you don't have a bypass, you have no way to get power into your coach without rewiring something. And most people don't want to rewire things or don't understand it well enough to rewire things. So all you have to do is unplug this and there's no prongs on it. So it's safe to unplug and just lay down and then plug in an external shore power cord to it. So we give you a shore power cord um, to bypass the system. In fact, here's one sitting over here. So this is what the plug looks like. The smart plug. It has much better contact, surface contact areas on it. Uh, it, it plugs in easier. It locks in. Um, so it's, it's better than the marine technology. And this will plug into a regular... Um, pedestal on that end. So you have two 5K inverters. They're wired in a split phase. Uh, this this rig actually uses 240 volt power, so you can get 240 volt power from it. Wire chases here. Um, your bus is down here. Your Lynx bus. So all the wiring goes in and out of the bus here. Solar input breakers to the solar controllers. Output breakers from the solar controllers to the battery. So you want to be able to isolate the controllers. And in this case, there's two controllers, both 150-45s. I take that back. One's a 45, one's a 35 amps. 150 volts maximum. So two strings of solar on the roof. This is a smaller rig. It's only 40 feet. So we were only able to get 3,600 watts on this coach. Normally we're between 45 and 48 on the larger coaches. Here's your network hub, the servo. That's got all the smarts in it. All the wiring goes to that. And that's what allows your display to function. An HDMI cable goes from the servo up to your touch 70 screen inside. So those are the basic components. The 12 volt side of the system is over here. So when you're doing 48 volt system, um, the 48 volts is just for the inverter. You still have to supply the coach with 12 volts. So the 12 volt system that New Horizons puts in, we put over here. And um, that's the bus bar for the 12 volt system. Again, using Lynx distributors, Victron components. Here's the transfer switch for the two shore power inputs. So it selects one. Uh, light switch for the interior. 
up here this is where we're splitting 120 volt power out going to the inverters um, one leg goes to one inverter one leg goes to the other inverter and it comes back to here and then goes to the coach you'll see a fire alarm up here this is a network fire alarm there's another uh, component inside and if this one rings the inside one rings and this white tube is protang fire suppression it will suppress a fire in this area it will not stop a battery runaway lithium battery fire but that's so unlikely to occur uh, unless there's another fire in the area that lights it up so our strategy is to put out anything that's in here as much as we can and this swings up over the propane area through the main compartment um, and protects components beyond what's just in here. So we put that on every rig. Um, every rig gets fire suppression. Every rig gets network fire alarms. Every rig gets external shore power in the front. Every rig gets a bypass. Um, every rig gets Mopeka, Mopeka tank sensors for propane, uh, which will display on the Victron display. And every rig gets Ruby temperature sensors scattered around. There's one in here, there's one inside, and if the customer requests others, they can either put them in themselves uh, or we'll add them. Um, as I said, they show up on the Victron display. The beauty of this system is that you can view it from anywhere if you have internet. So assuming that you have internet active in your coach and you set it up, um, for the Wi-Fi, then you, we, we can monitor this and actually make changes to it. Um, if there are any issues, we can take a look at it and see what's going on. Uh, and you can do the same if you're away from your coach. You can monitor the interior temperatures of the coach. You can look at your propane tank levels. Um, pretty much all the data that's available on your touch screen inside is available uh, on, the, on the remote on your phone. We like these Epoch batteries, um, server rack batteries. They, they take up less space. They allow you to stack them and easily. Uh, we build custom racks for it, so we got them in there pretty tight. Uh, they're not fun to get in and out, but you shouldn't have to take them in and out. So this coach, as I said, has about 3600 watts of solar on it we're not done with the solar yet uh, the racks will get end caps on them that sort of thing it's a combination of 200 watt panels and four 400 watt panels that's the way it laid out every coach lays out a little bit differently we try to get as much on as we can but uh you know sometimes the roof um, elements up there that are already in place stop us from doing what we'd really like to do we'd like to have a clean roof now, all New Horizons have, um, buy, have standard flex armor on them. This rig has flex armor on it. We have New Horizons put a string of studs up the sides, both sides. Then we use unistrut going up the sides, and then we cross over wherever we need to to support the panels. So that's a quick view of this one. Like I said, it'll be done by next Wednesday. Just some touch up things to do here. Um, one, th one thing I'll point out is in 48 volt systems, we don't use a battery shut off in here. We use a contactor that's rated for 600 volts and depends on the contactor, but at least 100 amps. And again, that's 48 volt. And the reason why we do that is because there aren't any really good shutoff switches that look like this that will handle 48 volts safely. What we found by testing them is that they arc a lot. Um, and this, this will not. And this also allows us easily to extend a remote shutoff over to here. So if you couldn't reach this for some reason, to shut it off, say you put something in here, um, you know, it's right here. So this disconnects it very easily to isolate your batteries.
and that's its function.